Patroclus is kind of coming across as he's not like other boys and holy shit. I would not want to be a woman living in this particular story because women are pretty much just objects. Why I was a little bit surprised like holy crap there's a centaur in this? There's, cent there's a centaur. Bonk. Hello everyone, Rose here, and welcome in to this reading vlog of The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Unfortunately, I already know a massive spoiler for this particular book. That's okay though, because I don't know how it happens, and ooh, okay, if I do spoilers, don't you worry. If you don't want to be spoiled, I will always have somewhere on screen spoilers, so there we go. So with that in mind, the fact that I already know a very big spoiler for this particular book. I would say that I'm fully expecting to be sad, <laughs> to probably shed some tears. What else am I expecting? Nothing else because I, I guess, thankfully don't know of anything else that happens. Although I think another reason why I'm also just looking forward to reading this particular book is, <sighs> okay, without going on a tangent of my eternal love for the movie The Old Guard. So the actor who plays Joe, his name is Marwin Kanzari, and he said in some sort of interview that he actually drew inspiration from this book. I think not only for the story of The Old Guard as a whole, but more specifically for his character's relationship, Joe's relationship with the character. Nikki, I'm here for it. Yeah, okay. If we can also just take a moment to admire just how beautiful this particular cover is. I picked this up a few days ago at a Kinokunio location in Siam, Paragon Mall. Love that location. It is massive. The English selection is actually really, really good. And I also, whilst I was there, oh yes, I, I picked up book two of the old guard because I do have, this is, it's still in its plastic, um, because I have the book one and I'm like, well, I have book one. I would very much like to have book two. So I picked this up and yeah, so, oh, I guess this is like a very uh, bonus mini book haul. Yeah. Okay. running out of daylight, so I'm gonna make this brief. I can only make it brief because I'm on page 24. So, the story is from Patroclus, his point of view. He is currently a child in the story. The pacing seems to be fairly quick, and the only other significant thing that I feel like I could say is Patroclus, I think, I can't remember if I, <laughs> I'm already forgetting, Currently in the story, he is a child, he's maybe nine years old or so, and he feels as if he's just kind of coasting through life. He's a prince, I, I don't think that's a spoiler to say. In any case, yeah, he feels like he's coasting through life, so I'm very interested to see at what point, at what age, will there finally be a spark, something that just excites him, and if he will have his own sense of independence, if you follow me. And okay, I see you, Battery. Just chill the heck out. Okay, bye. <laughs> so last night I read until about page 48, so not much I can say. The only bullet point things I can 
even comment on and oh I hope nobody comes for me for this. I am enjoying the story however I can't say that I feel particularly attached to Patroclus or Achilles at this point. Again I'm only on page 48 so give me some time and there are wait how many pages are there okay so there are 352 pages yeah give me some time right now it seems that achilles he before patroclus he has never i guess had a close companion or a close friend and patroclus because he is now in that position of being a companion and i would say a close friend Patroclus is kind of coming across as he's not like other boys and I think simply that just a vibe I'm getting from him so that's the end of my update for now and the on a completely unrelated story note oh my goodness gracious the water here in Thailand it's hard water so I think I like block this out of my memory but every time I come back I'm like oh right the water here is not great, specifically for my hair. <sighs> for curly hair, it's so freaking drying, so I need to do some research and figure out how to not make my hair look like crap. <laughs> Cheerful! There's that. Just wanted to quickly show you what I'm having for dinner. We ordered from a delivery service called Grab. Super convenient. Anyways, this is Khao Man Kai Todd, uh, which is, is it fried? Fried chicken. Yeah, it's it's just fried chicken and it comes with a few slices of cucumber and the soup. This is basically the water that the rice was cooked in. And no, is it the rice or the chicken? It's the chicken. So you you, you boil the chicken. Okay. Use the broth from the chicken to cook the rice. That's what it is. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not <laughs> terribly healthy, but it sure is freaking tasty. And in this very dark container, that's the uh, sauce that goes with that goes with this particular chicken. And my husband, he got just the regular common guy. His is not fried. That's it. Okay, we're gonna eat now because we're hungry. for tuning in to Rose Radio in today's top Monday news, rest stops in Thailand. Here you'll often find a gas station, a convenience store, a restaurant and or food stands to satisfy your hunger, a coffee shop for that much needed caffeine boost, miscellaneous shops, and last but certainly not least, a restroom. These will often be squat toilets, so don't forget to bring your own toilet paper because that is often not provided. You forgot your toilet paper? That's okay, just pick up a handy dandy single roll sold at the convenience store. While you're at it, probably keep a hand sanitizer with you because soap at the sinks is also hit and miss in these restrooms. This has been Rose at Rose Radio. Keep wearing your mask out in public and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. very hot. So yesterday I was not able to read anything and today I think I've only been able to read less than 10 pages. I might be able to read a bit more tonight. Oh right, it's, I don't know, it's seven something at night. I think the only thing I can say, I'm starting to warm up to Achilles. I would say there's something 
very modest about him in this particular telling of Achilles and his story. I don't think I have anything substantial to say about Patroclus just yet. I do think I am starting to warm up to him a bit more. And I think the last thing I can even point out is holy shit. I would not want to be a woman living in this particular story because women are pretty much just objects. Hell no. That's something. Oh yeah, uh, in non-reading things, ooh, I did such an amateur thing today and that was going out and about a lot, walking out and about, and not putting on mosquito repellent. And what do I get for this forgetfulness slash kind of just amateur stupidity? At least five or six mosquito bites. Yay. It's weird that I forgot considering this is my fourth time coming to Thailand, so I should know better, but things happen. Not really sure how much I will be able to read tomorrow, to be honest. I, I, I wasn't able to read anything yesterday because I was just spending time with my husband and today, the entire day has been spent with my husband and my father-in-law. At some point we did have a really long car ride, but I am not prone to motion sickness, but one, because of the roads here in Thailand not being especially smooth, and two, because my father-in-law is kind of a, he, he kind of has a lead foot when he drives. So combine those two, it's, it's a very bumpy ride, so it would have been unpleasant if I wanted to read in the car, so that just did not happen. Basically this entire weekend, it's Friday today as I record this, and we are gonna be with my father-in-law until Sunday, so I might not really be able to do a lot of reading until it's just me and my husband back at the Airbnb. We'll see. Okay, I should stop now. very windswept because it's very windy today. Absolutely fascinating. Okay, I have been, finally been able to read for me a significant amount so I can actually say things about this. At this point in the story, um, Patroclus and Achilles, they are now 16 years old. This is, it's, it's a slow burn right now, which you know what, considering how young they are, I'm totes my goats cool with that. Things happened when I think they were about 13 years old and then they're just like, ha, 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 ha. I think we're just gonna ignore this for now, but you know, remain friends and companions. That's all fine and good. So Achilles' mom, she is a sea nymph, which is considered a lesser of lesser gods, but in essence, she's still a goddess. Okay, cool, I'm actually really lazy right now. I think her name is Thetis, whatever. The sea nymph mother. Um, she's not a fan of Patroclus because pretty much in her eyes, mortals are just like dirt beneath her feet. Or what's a different analogy because she's very much one with the water. She doesn't think highly of Patroclus at all. And she's made that very clear. And she's been threatening towards Patroclus and Patroclus has a very healthy dose of fear <laughs> of Achilles' mother. Ooh, ooh, okay, I don't know why I was surprised because, hello, there's freaking gods and goddesses and sea nymphs in this, so why I was a little bit surprised, like, holy crap, there's a centaur in this? There's, cent there's a centaur, and oh my god, what is your name? Sir, blah, 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 blah. ha, Chiron? Chiron, I'm gonna call him Chiron. Cheery. Oh, I don't think he would actually appreciate that. I like him. He's very, they definitely allude to the fact that he's old, that Chiron is probably older than Achilles' mother. So I'm really curious, like how long can centaurs live in this particular world? So him, I like him. He is, he's very straightforward. He does not tolerate bullshit. And I wouldn't really call Chiron, you know, a particularly warm uh, being, 
but he's not without kindness, if that makes sense. He would be such an awesome teacher because he's currently a teacher for Achilles and Patroclus. They are staying with him up in the mountains area, wherever he, this centaur sir lives. They have been with him for three years now and he's just been teaching him pretty much like life skills. And there was a point where Achilles said, hey, are you gonna teach us how to fight? And so Chiron, he didn't teach them how to fight. He basically tested them out and Achilles like, so what do you think? And Chiron is like, um, so you were the best of your generation and all generations past. You're good. I have absolutely nothing to teach you. And Patroclus, he's like, so what about me? How am I? Did I do okay? Will you be my teacher? And Chiron is basically like, eh, you're all right. I, I can teach you. You can be like, at least a decent fighter, but you're never going to be anything like Achilles. And this wasn't said in a mean way, it's just like matter of fact. Yeah, still enjoying the story and I gotta say, I just got, my my excitement was just bumped up when Chiron came into the story because I'm like, again, holy crap, a centaur. I like centaurs. I like mythological creatures. All right. And okay, I swear this is the last message and then I'm going to get back to reading. When it comes to Patroclus, Boy is very gay. I, he's definitely known since he was young that the girls just don't do it for him because just when the topic of girls come up, he's just like, not for me, no thanks. And I am curious, how are queer people viewed in this world? Because Achilles' father has definitely encouraged his very young son, hey, so there's this girl that likes it. You should do something about that, which, that's a whole other thing. These people start when they're young in this particular world. Anywho's moving on from that. But yeah, and every single time Achilles has just been like, ah, not tonight, I'm tired. So essentially Achilles has been brushing off all of these like suggestions from his father. And I'm just like, is your dad just not taking a hint or what's going on? In conclusion, is being not straight viewed poorly in this world. Hopefully I will find out and okay. you can even hear me. I, I don't really want to talk too loud because the uh, hotel or the villa thing that we're staying in is right next to where the common kitchen area is. Anyways, one needs to buy Tiao Wat. I'm not sure which temple, but we are going to one. Uh, not the one that we went to, was it yesterday? No, it was the, the day before. And I think Really, after that, we'll probably head back to Gungheb. Oh yeah, I'm I'm sure I've mentioned at some point in this video that we are outside of Gungheb. We are in the province of Supanburi. I was talking with my husband uh, at breakfast, just uh, kind of comparing here to Gungheb, and I'm like, it's actually a bit cooler here comparatively, which geographically should not make sense because it's on the same like elevation it's essentially in the same area but in Gruntev you have all of the buildings the concrete buildings you have all of the cars so it's it's the pollution essentially that makes it hotter in Gruntev so here oh okay right now I'm sure you can hear it because I my microphone is just completely open to everything I don't have the what's called the dead kitty to muffle the wind but 
Lo Mien Di. It's not quite 9.20 a.m. in the morning, but the wind is still quite cool, which I super appreciate because, again, back in Rung Thaib, Tuk Wan, Pra Atit, Ron, Ron Ma, Tawa, Lo Mien Di. At least in the shade. <laughs> not sure when I will get the chance to do any reading today. Hopefully some, because last night, yesterday evening, I had just gotten to a point in the book where I'm like, ooh, ooh, what's gonna happen next? And then my husband came back and I'm like, dang it. Cause it was, it was dinner time, so uh, that's what we did. And I did not get a chance to continue reading. Good morning to you too, bird. I did not get to, a chance to continue reading at that uh, kind of intense moment in the book. So I'm looking forward to finding out what happens. here. So if you read the title, this should come as no surprise. I am splitting this reading vlog into two parts because it was just way too long. <laughs> so if you are interested at all in hearing my concluding profound thoughts, then please look forward to part two coming soon to personal devices near you. Stay safe out there. Thank you and good night.